Stan Jabalisco here, ham radio operator W1GV. Good vibrations from the Black Hills of South Dakota, bringing you a little presentation as to how to prepare the end of a short piece of wire for connecting to a screw, for example, that goes into the bed of a pickup truck to ground a mobile ham radio antenna. Here's the screw that goes into that truck bed right there. There's the end of the piece of ground wire stripped with a, to about an inch and a quarter. What I'm, and there's the solder that I'm going to use to tin this wire. Now first you wrap the wire around the screw. Now this is an example of one of the screws so that you get just the right diameter. You just wrap it around once, give the screw a twist or two, then unscrew it from inside that loop that you now have. Now that loop is going to of course provide the electrical contact, but you want to provide some protection against corrosion on that copper because this metal here, this stainless steel screw, dissimilar metals in variable environmental conditions. Well, you know the drill. If you've had any experience with that kind of thing, you want to minimize that problem. So here's the tip of a soldering gun, which I am now preheating. I'm doing this on my Formica, or I guess it's called Formica, kitchen countertop. And then I have one of these sort of like meat cutting boards or abuse board is what it is in this case. It'd keep the Formica from being wrecked by what I'm about to do. The wood, actually it's bamboo. It's a pretty nice board. It's going to get scorched though, I suppose. You heat up that wire real good with that soldering gun before you apply the solder. Now this is stranded wire. I believe about AWG number 16 wire. And then you just tin it, not enough so that it beads up on there, but just enough to soak that wire. Okay, that's cool. So that is what you got. Now you got this little loop, you got to let it cool for a couple, three, four minutes. And then it'll be ready to accept this screw. Now if it, for some reason, won't accept the screw because the solder has slightly increased the diameter of the wire, you can just take a little flathead screwdriver of the right size and kind of jiggle it around in there and it should uh, work or you can force thread that screw through there. But now the solder will hold that loop in place and it will also protect against corrosion. It'll keep the loop from spreading out and falling out of that screw. It'll also protect against the corrosion that the presence of two dissimilar metals in direct contact would otherwise cause. So there you be, there you have it. Now I do that to the other end of the wire already pre-looped it, and then I'll screw one end into the antenna mobile mount base, which is grounded to the coax shield, the other end into one of the little holes that's been provided by Toyota with such forethought in the bed of big number eight. Until next time, Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Golf Victor saying 73, and so long.